What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive vlogs coming at you. That's right, with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now. Hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, everybody, of course, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So let's jump into the email. So this is kind of like a response, I guess, from one of you guys uh, to that video that I made regarding Tom, who came up with that concept for DoorDash for a new pay model. And he emailed Tony Shu, the CEO of uh, DoorDash, who seemed to like his idea and passed it along to one of his operation managers, who then responded to Tom and said, Tony really liked what you had to say. We'll take it under consideration. So we were excited. We were happy about that. So this particular driver reached out named Fred, and uh, this is what he had to say about the DoorDash CEO considering a better pay model. And just let me know if you agree or disagree with what Fred is saying. He goes, Pete, do not believe for one second that DoorDash is willing, maybe, possibly, changing the pay model out of the goodness of their hearts. <laughs> it's more likely that DoorDash is well aware that the California Prop 22 was being closely watched as a precedent setting case by many other states. Uh, it's been well observed and monitored and there are several states legislators as we speak that are crafting and writing various versions of California's law to force these gig platforms to guarantee independent contractors basic minimum wages and benefits or face the possible threat of forcing those platforms to make them employees, which would be us. And that my friend will cost all the gig platforms a whole hell of a lot of money than coming up with more fair and reasonable equitable pay plans. You think? Maybe? Possibly? Probably? Just saying. Peace out, pal. Now, I just right off the bat, I totally hear what Fred is saying. Okay? The Prop 22 thing is a major issue. We do not want to be employees. Okay? That is for damn sure. Because once we become W-2 uh, employees, we then have a manager, we have limited hours, we have to stick to a schedule, etc., etc., etc. In most cases, I'm sure if it ever comes down to it, for sure, across the board, like a blanket kind of, you know, policy, I'm sure these, these companies would figure out a way to make it work for everybody somehow. But Fred brings up a lot of good points. I am not completely disagreeing with him here because the fact of the matter is this, when we signed up for these apps, okay, we signed up with the intention that, you know, the perk was you can work when you want, work as much as you want, work as little as you want, you know, within reason until Uber started putting in the caps uh, for ride share, driving too many hours, etc. But, you know, that's a whole another thing. Um, but going back to what Fred is saying here. Uh, it, it's very possible that, you know, they're, they're definitely keeping in mind the Prop 22 thing and that other states uh, are doing their own legislation, which they have been for, I think, well over a year now. Uh, so that comes really as no surprise. If I'm not mistaken, New York, my home state, New Jersey, I think Rhode Island and a few others were, were putting something together. I think Connecticut, maybe. Don't quote me on that. It's been a little while since we've spoken about it. But um, look... I, I just feel like in general, in the gig economy in the past couple of years, especially ever since the pandemic, there's just been so much, you know, negativity. I mean, a lot of my topics are negative topics, unfortunately, because these are what's really happening. Okay. Um, so when Tom came up with that mock, like concept pay model, I was thinking to myself, you know, maybe, 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 maybe just for once something positive could come from a driver or a dasher to the, to the, to the corporate end, and, and they would maybe see it from, from our, our angle, you know, where it benefits, see the, the, the thing with that concept pay model is that it really benefits everybody. Okay. It would guarantee 
the dashers make X amount of dollars based on a higher acceptance rate, which would mean that more orders would be getting delivered and not rejected and wouldn't be sitting around, you know, even if they didn't tip, at least then they would be guaranteed a certain amount of money, you know? Uh, and I think it could be tweaked in such a way. So I tr I'm trying to remain optimistic about it where Fred was just kind of, you know, hit, hitting it very realistically, not saying it's negative, but he's hitting it from a very realistic standpoint. So I respect his thoughts and opinion on that. So my question is, do you guys agree or disagree with what Fred was saying in this message? Let me know in the chat or the comments down below. And if you guys ever want to send me uh, an email of your own, send it to paid to drive stories at gmail.com. And I'll try my best to get back to you as fast as possible. But if you can't reach me on there, always reach out on Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. That link is in the description or the pin top comment. So uh, if anyone who signs up on there, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. I'm going to do that right now. So when you hear your name called in the chat or the comments, say, Hey Pete, I heard my name. So we've got Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver right there at the top. So Ari, thank you so much for your generosity. And of course, these people for their generosity, like Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, uh, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of them. And uh, yeah, guys, so sign up on Patreon down below. And also at the bottom of the description, is the free link for the free gas app called Get Upside. So you can save money every time you go to the pump. Download it for free, bottom of the description on your smartphone, go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Please make sure to download it. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, make sure to visit paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale every day. Lots of different designs, colors, sizes. Go check it out. Links down below, paytodrivestore.com. And if you made it to the end of this video, I thank you kindly. Leave a comment saying END639, END639. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications. So uh, you're always notified when I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive. And of course, Pay to Drive Vlogs. And uh, as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.